Stu Cowan and Pat Hickey of the Montreal Gazette here at the Bell Centre where the Canadians lost 4-1 to to the Florida Panthers on Tuesday night. But Pat, this game was all about John Scott. It certainly was. Uh, John Scott getting his uh, first and, and last uh, appearance uh, with the Canadians. Uh, had sort of a good, uh, good soldier award. Uh, they felt that he handled himself pretty well down in St. John's. Helped with some of the young guys and uh, they gave him a chance to play one game. And... Uh, uh, he was pretty emotional afterwards. I think he, he said it might have been his last game. He hopes it's not, but uh, it's certainly his last game with the Canadians. And, but he said it was a great thrill have wearing the uniform playing here in the Bell Center. Jim Mark Bergevin met with him after the game and gave him the option of either going back to St. John's and joining the Ice Caps or going back home to his family in Michigan, his wife and four young daughters. He took the option to go home and, and visit his family. He had nine minutes and one second in ice time, three hits, no shots. Two penalty minutes, he was minus one, but that wasn't his fault. Ten seconds into the game, a yeah. uh, goal that Mike Condon looked a little weak on. Yeah, he did. You know, and it's a uh, you know, quick start. Alexander Barkov, who's been red hot lately. Uh, he had two goals against the Canadians the other night. He's got a, a seven-game uh, point streak. Uh, he's got six goals in there and four and five assists. And uh, he's just been red hot lately, as Jonathan Huberdeau also uh you know, and then of course you got Jagger's the third two assists. That line. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, His two yeah. line mates combined in age are two years younger than Jagger yeah, is, yeah. which is quite remarkable. Uh, Michel Terrier put um, John Scott out for the first shift of the game, got a good round of applause, and he also put him on for the last shift of the game, which I thought was a classy move by the Canadians. Yeah, he said that was their plan was to start him and finish him, and uh, and uh, you know that was uh, it was good. The, the fans I think appreciated him. Uh, there wasn't much else to cheer about. Yeah, that's right. This that's night. A lot more empty seats than we've seen all season, which really isn't yeah. surprising. Uh, St. John Scott going home, he asked if he could keep his number 22 Canadians jersey. The Canadians gave it to him. He packed it up, said he has a special place for it in his basement at home. So, Pat, you're off to Carolina, the last road trip of the year. They play the Hurricanes on Thursday night. And then back here Saturday, and it all wraps up against Tampa Bay. Yeah, the Canadians, uh, you know, talking about uh, a lot of empty seats here tonight. They're going to see lots of empty seats in <laughs> Carolina. Uh, this is a team that, again, is just like the Canadians, is going nowhere. They've got the lowest average attendance in the NHL. Well, that's it for tonight from the Bell Center.